Hi, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long, but there have been so many things happening, like I'm expecting my first baby. I'm so, so, so excited. Well, I'm sorry that I haven't done a tutorial in so long, but I'm back. I'm excited to share a brand new product with you. It is called Love, L-O-V. No, I'm not spelling it incorrectly. There we go. And uh, this is such a great product. It's new to South Africa. You can find it in certain discams. And what I love about it, firstly, the packaging, sucker for packaging, it's black, chic, white, touches of pink, really beautiful. And then it's a fantastic price point, which I think is really important. You wanna know that you are getting a great product for a reasonable price. So the pigmentation is fantastic. It lasts all day long. Uh, everything is just, it's beautiful to touch. It's beautiful on your skin. I've got absolutely nothing on my skin at the moment other than a little bit of moisturizer. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna start by pinning my hair back. There we go. Number one, you always start with a primer. It just is a game changer when you apply a foundation. It keeps the foundation lasting all day. It preps the skin. It makes the skin feel like satin. I'm starting with Aloe V, the Primer Serum, beautifying and illuminating, and that's also got an SPF 15. Looks like that. taking is the Confidential Camouflage Concealer Palette. Let me take this out so I can show you how amazing that all is. All right. This color here is amazing just to camouflage, get rid of any of those blue circles, just brighten the eye area, and then you can mix between these two to get your perfect shade, and this is to set. So you can either use the brush or really want to get in there, use the finger. Great thing with concealer, put it around the nose. There we go. And I'm just going to take my Wet Beauty Blender and just blend it in. This is the Undressed 12 Hour Moisturizing Foundation. I have it in number 30. It is Rosy Touch. And I'm just gonna apply that. I love, look at that. Look how cool that is. And then it just comes out like that. Can you see? I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And now it's just taking the beauty blender and just making sure that there are no lines. And now, if you need to go over anything more with concealer, you can. I want to conceal around the nose. I'm just going to blend that in. Face contouring palette. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I keep staring at it because it's just so pretty. I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm going to start contouring my cheeks. Then it's taking this color here and just highlighting. The last thing to get that healthy glow is the healthful healthy glow blush. There it is. And I have got this in Secret Apricot. I mean, look at that color. Every single skin tone looks incredible with apricot peachy colors. You can never go wrong. So if you ever want to buy someone a blush and you don't know what color, 
you can't go wrong with peach. Wow, this, this is highly pigmented. I mean, I just tap that in and look at that. I think I might have put on a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna do that because I don't want it to look like a clown. And it just brightens up the skin. I would even use this on my eyes as a very natural, beachy, blushy look, which would be really pretty. But there we go. The skin is done. And what's really important is I want my skin to look as natural as possible. I don't want people to go, oh, Bailey's wearing so much makeup. No, it must look like this is my skin. And you know, a little help never hurts. So that is why I love this. The foundation, the concealer, the primer, it all works so beautifully to look like a skin rather than looking like it's sitting on the skin. That's never what you want. I really hope you enjoy this. I'm now gonna go in and fill in my eyebrows, do the full look, but this tutorial is literally just how to get that dewy skin. Mm -hmm.